Stakeholders in Benin City have reacted to the recent action that was taken by a state governor, Godwin Obaseki, for creating problems over the return of artworks by the German government. Some of the stakeholders who spoke to our reporter, Akpomujeru Friday, in Benin City, noted that the artifacts don't belong to the state government but belongs to the Oba of Benin and it should be returned to the palace. Because the artifact was stolen over 100 years ago. It belongs to his great grandfather. For the governor to have um, you know, a, a committee set up without the impute of the Oba, I think that is a slight to the monarchy. You know, and I think what the Oba would do is to uh, meet the Oba and say, Oba, I talk way. How do we do it, my royal father? I think it's better. The, this uh, trying to contest and you know and, and play supremacy with the Oba, I think the the, 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 the likes of we or the Beninese would not be very happy because soldier go, soldier come, barak remain. And also, it's also reminding the Oba Benin again, or we the Benin, of what the great great grandfather did, who was the ESA then, who was the uh, uh, Ago of uh, Ago of Baseki, was the ESA of Benin, who uh, allegedly betrayed Oba Ovarame before he was taken to exile in Calabar. The issue is whether or not the premises of the palace of the Oba of Benin today would have sufficient space for this kind of major facility that undoubtedly will be a major boost to the tourism business in Edo State. So people can reason over this. Would the residents of the Oba, the palace, be inclined towards having this multitude of persons streaming in and out. Go. In line with the legal